So we see here the same four uh, areas of energy consumption or energy demand on the left. And again, we see that residential and commercial buildings are consuming about 41% of our total energy demanded for the United States. Uh, the, if I want to just look at the residential area, I can break that down into the way that we use the energy. And in, as of 2009, a large share of energy was tied to space heating. Why, and uh, a relatively small percentage within the entire United States was then linked with electricity use for air conditioning and refrigeration. So we have 30% of our energy tied into lighting, tied into appliances. These are our televisions, our modems, our uh, coffee makers, as well as uh, all of our lighting for our homes. And then another 18% goes into uh, keeping water hot. Of those different segments of how energy is used in homes, I want to point out that a large share of that energy is being put in by natural gas, about 50% right now, whereas about 40% is electricity. So really we're looking at two very dominant players in energy supply in residential homes, uh, natural gas and electricity. That's not to say that we don't know of homes that use fuel oil or in uh, in this region actually fuels that heat homes uh, using combustion of coal even uh, is still uh, possible. The If I go beyond the energy use in homes and I dial out to this global scale, uh, I actually plotted here the major energy producers uh, from back in 2004. And the reason that I did this was so that we could also compare how things have changed as of 2011. So in 2004, the United States was the largest energy producer in the world. As of 2011, that has shifted. And right now, you're looking at a flip between the United States and uh, uh, China. The same thing happens for China and the United States in terms of energy consumption. However, what we also see is a shift where India becomes the third largest consumer of energy and where Brazil actually jumps as well to becoming a, another major consumer of energy, a larger consumer of energy than Canada. And these data are being drawn from this link up here under yearbook enter data uh, energy consumption. Let me see if I can bring that up. And the website for that is right here where we're seeing countries and the value uh, of, of their energy consumption. All right. So going back and, and moving on, one of the things that I want you to, to keep in mind with energy use uh, is that energy use is very strongly tied to population growth. So on a global scale, as we have increased in people from a billion people on the planet in 1850 to over 7 billion people on the planet in 2011, you know, really what we're seeing is an increase in energy consumption as well. Because everybody has some basic needs for shelter, for food, for clean water that requires a net use of energy to accomplish those things. Now, on top of that, we're going to have uh, people in developed countries, people who are living a much more luxurious life, uh, an economic luxury in, say, the United States, Europe, uh, where we're seeing people using a lot more energy than they need, in which case it's a luxury, and that is also driving energy consumption. But the world population growth is, is almost like this unstoppable aspect of, of energy demand that we need to be aware of.